Hey guys, tonight I've got a special edition of Twiddler's Rare Towers for you. Tonight we're going to actually take a look at a whole bunch of ja uh, Japanese versions of Magic the Gathering cards. Stay tuned. Hey guys, and thank you for joining me here at Twiddler's Place. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and checking this stuff out. So tonight I've got a whole ton of uh, Japanese rare cards and I've pulled out a selection of them that I'd like to go through with you guys for the for a special Twiddler's Tower tonight. It's going to be all Japanese versions. So you're going to see a lot of Japanese alt art uh, and all kinds of other things. So uh, if you guys have a favorite or something, please don't hesitate to chime in down below. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. These uh, alternate arts and stuff, of course, anything that's above $1.50 is going to go into the game. So I want to go ahead and get everything set up here so that we can get started. So give me one quick second, and we shall get everything on the move. So I have pre, uh, I've actually pre-done a few of them that, uh, unfortunately... Uh, they didn't scan very well. So let me get this pulled up here real quick and we will take care of those. And where are we at? Here we go. Okay, so, all right. So for some reason, these these uh, extended arts or full art or whatever you want to call them, they, um, uh, they don't scan very well. So what I've gone ahead and done is uh, pre-scan them so I could show you a few of them. So obviously they're not very, very expensive. These ones are only 450 down to uh, pennies. So we've got Grape Shot, there's Cyber Drive Awakener, Tezzeret's Gambit, the Reality Chip, there's just Stone Rain. How about that for some art? That's pretty cool. And then, uh, and then we go with uh, Hinata Dawn Crown. You guys know that one very well, I'm pretty sure. Imposter Mech, Sign in Blood, Blade of the Oni, and Tatsunari Toad Rider. So... Uh, those I went ahead and pre-scanned so that uh, you guys could see those. So we will take those, put them aside, and then we will get ourselves set up so that we can add some additional stuff to that. So I really, really like uh, a lot of the alternate art. It's really, really cool. Uh, I know that the value isn't there for a lot of it. There is for some of them, like the Demonic Tutor and stuff like that. Uh, so some of those are, are phenomenal, but... Uh, uh, the rest of these I've, I've noticed are, are just kind of uh, kind of okay, I guess you could say. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, and get started here. So I've got I've got some. Uh, let, there we go. All right, cool. So there's Putrefy. Now as I get them scanned, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the box, and I will sleeve them later. Uh, this way we can go ahead and take care of that. There's Ugin, the ineffable. Check out that version, 450. So we'll go ahead and put that over here. And then what do we got next? That's Nissa, who shakes the world. Very cool, 169. That is the right one. That is for four bucks. Put that one over here. Then we've got Faithless Looting for 832. Very nice. Uh, that is one of those mystical, uh, mystical Strixhaven uh, ones, the mystical uh, uh, version. So that was very cool. And and the art, I believe, is alt art. I think all the ones that are extended are like alt art. So I'm not 100% sure how they work. Uh, but that is really, really cool. I like that. So as you can see, that is $8.32. So we'll put that in the $8 bin. We'll go ahead and set that in there. Oh, okay, so let's see what's next. Let's go ahead and do some more here. All right, which one is that one? God Eternal Bontu. Bontu, Bontu number 92. That is $3.37. We'll get that in the $3 bin. So guys, as I've said before with these, uh, you can go ahead and just hit the uh, the pause button if you see something that's really cool that you like. Uh, and uh, we can go and check stuff out from there. Uh, this way I can get more cards in. So there's Bolus' of Citadel, 529. Uh, and so three, four, five, there we go. That's a $5 card. So some of these are really, really cool. I will stop at a Narset's Reversal, 656. So this is a 650. Get that into the right bin. Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. That is the, uh, I guess there's a, a different type of art on that one. Where that, where's where the star comes in, where you see the 54. 
the star. So that is, uh, what do we see there? $8. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, these seem to be holding their value somewhat. Let me go ahead and there we go. All right, there we go. God Eternal Kefnet. God Eternal Kefnet. Is that going up? No, that is coming down. So we'll make that a $4.50 card. So we'll put that in the four fifty bin. Let's take a look at that. Finale of Revelation, $5. Very cool. Very cool. I like these. I like these. These are working out very well. So, And I like the new way that I've uh, been able to set this up so it'll scan. It scans a lot faster. A Johnny the Great Hearted at $1.79. So we'll put that in the $1.50 bin. There you go. Karn's Bastion. Karn's Bastion. $1.66. So that will go in the $1.50 bin. There we go. Finale of Promise. Finale of... Oh, now it's scanned it incorrectly <laughs> the second time. So Finale of Promise uh, sets as a $1.50. And I've got it on the automatic scan, which is why I see how you can see a Johnny. It's scanned twice and whatnot. So we can always take those out of here. As we know, only one of them was actually um, scanned. So um, I will turn that off and I will see I can set it here and then I can go ahead and scan it. And it also focuses in as well at the same time. So there you go. That's God Eternal Oketra. So $4.91. Is that going up? That is going down. So we'll, we'll throw that in the $4.50 bin. We don't want to undervalue it. And all these are at market value, as I usually uh, tell you guys. So they are at market value. I uh, used to do everything at mid value, but mid is a little different from market. And I know market can sometimes fluctuate because if you get a couple of big high sales and, and really low sales, it can really drag down or, or pump up the volume or the, the actual, um, I guess, average of the card. But uh, that's okay because we'll take a look at that. If something looks really really oddballish you know you guys can always comment about it or something and we can always take a look at it later but the volatility of these cards is so crazy uh so it, it you never know what it is that you're actually going to uh to get so let's see now let's see if we can get this one to scan there you go find finale of glory at 428 so we'll put that in the four dollar bin There you go, Tefri, Time Traveler, or Time Raveler at fourteen eighty seven. Is that going up? That is going up, so we'll make that a $15 card. And since that it is a card over $10, we will get a special sleeve, and we will go ahead and put a price on the back of this. And then we will have a price for some of the bigger cards that we have, and we'll put that aside. So as of right now, that's one of our top hits for the night, for the scan however you want to call it. All right, here we go. Ral Storm Conduit. That's number 211. It is 241. Is that going up? It is going up, and it is within 10 cents, so that will go in the $2.50 bin. Next. Oh, is that a different version of the same card or the same card? It's a different version of the same card. Interesting. Okay. So this one is also 211. So let me take a look at both of these cards. They are they are both 211 and they are two different versions of the same card. Very cool. All right. So um did not realize I, I'm so used to every version having a different uh a different card. So kind of interesting. Or a different number, different number on a different card. So all right, so that one is only worth a dollar fifty. So we'll put that in the dollar fifty bin. So okay, here we go. Domri, Anarchabolus, dollar seventy four. We'll put that in the dollar fifty bin. Grab another little stack here. Some of these scan really good, and some of them don't scan very good at all. All right, Tamio, twenty five. Oh wait a minute. There we go. That goes in the dollar buy-in pulls. So there we go. That's the foil version. All right, there you go. Conspiracy Theorist, 31 cents. Can't use it. I was wondering. We were, we were hitting we were getting all hits. <laughs> Dagma Titan. There we go. 
now now we're starting to settle into the normal the normal uh uh bulk or air stuff they have memory lapse oh i must not have shuffled very good and you know what i mean by shuffle i don't want to shuffle too too much anyways that is blast zone number 244 it says at two dollars 62 cents so that is a two dollar and fifty cent card we'll put that in here okay and that is 86 cents can't use it that is compulsive research at 17 cents can't use it dragon's guard elite 17 cents and that is a uh, velo macus lore hand 245 261 the foil version is 324 because it is foil uh it is foil there you go so we will throw that in the three dollar bin so there we go on that all right 127 double major so that goes in the buy-in the buy-in uh is that going up that is going up so we actually i actually have a slot for cards that may make it to a dollar fifty, so I take those out of the buy because I have a ton of buy-in cards. So we will see what we can do. That is culling ritual. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Culling ritual at two twenty-three. So we will make that a two-dollar card. Put that in the two-dollar bin. Let's see what we can do here. Lightning helix. 97 cents since let's see if it's on the way up it is on the way up so we will go ahead and put that in the dollar bin and there is one that it that's i believe that's an that's an alternate art i'm not 100 percent sure i'm still learning about the alternate art so if you guys have anything for me to look out for definitely let me know so there is wandering there we go better scan of it Wandering Archaic at five dollars twenty six cents. We'll put that in the five dollar bin. So two fifty three fifty four fifty five fifty in the five dollar bin. Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. Shadrick's Silver Quill for two fifty, right there. So very nice. We'll add that to the two fifty bin. Now that I know is an alternate art. So. See if we can get there. You go, electrolyze. Only a dollar fifty, but that is a really good looking card. So we'll put that in the dollar fifty bin. That will be somebody's prize. Let's see what else we can get here. At least there we go. Huffrey Ghost Forge, seventy four cents. Can't use it. There's Blex Vexing Pest, seventy four cents. Can't use it. Uh oh, there we go. So there is Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord, for $4.11. Very nice card. Very nice looking card. So we'll put that into uh, the $4 bin. All right. And then now we've got, let's see what we got here. Sky Cloud Expanse. It is the foil version. 18 cents. Cannot use it. All right. So we'll put these aside. And I will grab another little stack here. Let's see what we got. All right, next. Baleful Mastery. Can't use it. Tan, uh, Tanazir Quandrix for two, number 240 for $1.10. That can go straight into the buy-in polls. Crackle with Power. Very nice. 95, nine, number 95. Worth $5.10. We'll put that in the $5 bin. There's Thought, Thought Lace number. Let me take a look here real quick. That is $196 for the Strixhaven version. And that is not Thought Lace. So, all right. I figured maybe that was a version of something Thought Lace. And that's a commander. <laughs> so, my bad. Uh, one dollar and four cents. So that goes in the buy-in poll. So, or not a not a commander. I apologize. So, anyways, three dollars seventeen cents. Prismari command. You guys know. You guys know. I'm still learning all this stuff. It it takes some time to learn this stuff. I'm just getting back into it. I'm less than a year back into it, and I'd like to say that I'm probably. 
Uh, whoa, that is wrong. That is way wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning certain aspects of everything. Number 207. There we go. All right, that looks better. 876 for Nicole. Nicole. Nicole Bullis, Dragon God. It is on the way up. It is at 876. But as of right now, I am going to go ahead and make that an $8.50 card. It could increase. But like I said before, we scan everything before we put it into the game. So if it changes in value, I'll put it up to the next tier if we happen to put it into a game. So, all right, there is the Spark. That is alternate art right there for $2.29. Very gorgeous looking card. So we'll make that a $2 card. How about this one? Very cool. Mila, Crafty Companion. Number 277 for 203, another $2 card. Boy, we're smoking it with $2 cards today. All right, what we got going on here? $1, oh, another Tanzir Quandrix. Go into the dollar bin. Necro Blossom Snarl. That is the foil version for $1.50. We'll go ahead, and that is number 269. It is, and you can see, you can see the curvature a little bit. It's not too, too bad, but it, it is there. All right, what do we got here? We have got the non-foil version of the Vine Glimmer Snarl. Uh, that's dollar. That goes in the buy-in bin. And then we've got the foil version. Let's see if the foil version scans any better. Let's see if the foil version scans at all. <laughs> So, oh, 136, and it is headed down. So, as of right now, both the foil and the non-foil version are both qualified for the, the buy-in box at a dollar. So, there's Body of Research. Can't use it. And Rowan, Scholar of Sparks for two bucks. Yeah, we're definitely, definitely working the $2, uh, $2 bin tonight. So, all right, next. Probably start to see some repeats here. Tomio, uh, Collector of Tales, four forty six. That is going to be a four dollar and fifty cent card. So we'll go ahead and put that over here. And then let's see here. There we go. Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin for a dollar thirty six. Right there, it is number one thirty seven. So that's good. Let's see where that is. That is going up. So we will put that in the could hit $1.50 uh, bin. Hall of Oracles. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. There you go. It's only 22 cents. Can't use it. Hope of Gurapur. Gurapur? Gurapur. Something like that. Anyways, two forty one. It is within 10 cents and it is on the way up. So we'll put that in the $2.50 bin. All right, Flame Scroll Celebrant. Flame Scroll Celebrant, 11 cents, can't use it. Got a bunch of these Frost Boil Snarls, so that's a buck 70. I'll probably have to scan a few more of those as we come along. Uh, Domri, Arc Bolus, Arc, Arc, and Arc of Bolus. There we go, Exponential Growth, no good. I don't think that's any good either. Nope, Ignite the Beacon, no good. Mascot Exhibition, number five, that, no good. Rushed Rebirth, no good. Necro Blossom Snarl, is that one of the ones? It is within uh, 10 cents, so we'll put that in there, and it's on the way up, so we'll put it in the $1.50 bin. 13 cents silver quill. You ever notice this looks like uh this looks like Doctor Strange and all of his companions? <laughs> all right, next up, the Biblioplex. 16 cents. Then we've got, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get a scan. There we go. Archmage Emeritus for three dollars. We're, we're hitting the low stuff tonight. We, we definitely need to find a couple more, a little bit higher possible. Shine, Shadow, Snarl, that is on the way down. So we will put that in the buy-in pulls for now. Here's some alternate art for you. Very cool. Or at least it looks like it is. Ephemerate, $2.11. This is definitely alternate art. I think that looks so cool. 
See if we can get it to scan. I know at one point I was able to get some of these to scan. But oh, there we go. Gift Gift of Estates number 69. That is correct. And it's at a dollar sixty-nine. So we will put that in the dollar fifty bin. There you go. Life Crafters Bestiary, no good. Bontu's Last Reckoning, no good. Get into a little bit of Kamigawa here. Eater of Virtue, 401, no good. Tendrils of Agony, 97, number 97 at $1.19. So we'll put that in the buy-in box. Oh, wait a minute. Almost scanned it. There we go. Sign in blood. 291. Is that going up? It is coming down. So we will put that in the $2.50 box instead of the $3 box. That is Baleful Mastery, 36 cents. Inquisition of Kozilek. There you go. How about that? That's a pretty cool looking card. $1.70. So we'll put that in the $1.50 bin. And we are getting to the home stretch of uh, what I actually have. Uh, I've got some others, but there a lot of them are like under 10 cents and all. I pulled a, pulled a lot of the other ones out so we can look at the good stuff. Well, there you go. There's a 10. Didn't get all of them, obviously. See how many more of these we can get out of the way. There's 17 cents, 21 cents for shale. Oh, there you go. Get that one scanned. Swords to plowshares. Ten bucks right there, guys. So I knew that was swords to plowshares. So let me get that sleeved up. Put a price on it. This goes into the special stuff. So we'll go swords to plowshares. Very, very cool. Uh, not quite as good as the Tefri, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's a great classic card. So, oh, there's Ephemerate. Holy crap. Two $10 cards right one behind another. Ephemerate. I wasn't uh, familiar with that one being, and that is the that is the uh, the alternate art version too. So that is really cool. Very nice. So we'll make, is that 10, 1077 and on the way up? So we'll make that a 1050 card. I know everybody's still freaking out over um, not only singles falling, but they're they're buying collector boxes. They're just going nuts on all kinds of stuff right now. It's like uh, stuff is getting hard to find, and now boxes are starting to creep. Collector boxes are starting to creep back up, uh, and then singles are they're coming down. But and we're starting to notice a few that are starting to uptick a little bit. So I think I think I can't say right away that. Prices are starting to find a foothold because I still see quite a few of them dropping quite a bit. So um, uh, we definitely, there's definitely going to be some more market movement and all that stuff. So, oh, there we go. Scan it twice. Tatsunari, uh, Toad Rider, and it's foil and no good for us anyways. So, oh, here we go. Another one. Faithless Looting, 832. Uh, so we'll put that in the $8 bin, I think. I think I already, did I already scan one of those? I think I did. So here we go. All right, we've got a Satoru Umazawa for 21 cents. That is a foil version. No good. What we got here, Blot Out the Sky, number 167, 79 cents. No good. And then we've got Kamigawa, Eater of Virtue. I think we saw one of those earlier. No good. And then there you go. Another version of Saturu. 56 cents. Can't use it. Oh, there we go. Karn the Great Creator at 1470. Very nice. So, and that is on the way up. So we'll put 1450 for now. And give me one quick second. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I got people demanding that they talk to me right now, but unfortunately I cannot take care of all things at once. So Karn the Great Creator. Karn, Karn the Great Creator. <laughs> mm. So there we go. There is a $14 card. So we've got uh, a number of um, mid-value mid cards, which is, I do need them. I do need them. But uh, I am still looking for that big hit for this week. I may, may not be running a game tomorrow if I can't find a uh, around a $60 card. So it's got to be between 50 and 60 If I can find something, I will run the game. If you do not see a post, uh, then don't worry about it. So <laughs> I may take a week off. I've been doing uh, a lot here recently. I know I stopped uh, doing Sundays, uh, but now I'm recording. There we go. Harmonize. 115. There is another one of your uh, extended arts. Very, very cool. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and put that in the $2 bin. And we're nearing in on 30 minutes, so we definitely don't want to go over 30 minutes. So whether the storm, 250. Yep, 30 minutes is always going to be our uh, make it or break it point. So, guys, I really appreciate you uh, being here tonight. Well, couldn't get that one to scan. Let's see if we can get the foil version to scan. Nope. Can't get... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, all right, we don't have time. <laughs> That's another one I should have pre-scanned. So there's Blue Sun Zenith for $1.50. Archmage Emeritus for $3. Get 150, two, three. And what we got here? Oh, every time it says hold, it's about to scan it. And this one is failing me. All right, Elite Spellbinder, no good. Foil Kamagawa, there's your Ishin, $5.28. We'll put that in the five, two, three, four, five dollar bin. Brainstorm for $1.24. It is going up a little bit. We'll hold on to it. We'll take a look at it down the road. Lightning Helix for one buck right there. 97 cents. We'll put that in the bin there. Kazmina, 225. Put that in the $2 bin. Wandering Archaic. I think we got one of those already. Two, three, four, five. Five dollar bin. Getting down. Ooh, Dark Ritual. Very nice. That's a very, very cool. I have not seen that version. Not seen the uh, Mystical Archive version of it. That's very, very cool. I like that. So that's going in the 250 bin. Let's see if we can get this one to scan. Does not look like we'll be successful. Prismari Command, another $3. Oh, dropped one. And we're back. <laughs> $3.58 for Rowan. So that's a $3.50. So let me take a look here. Uh, we are winding down. So I want to see if there's anything else that I might be able to scan and uh, show you guys some good stuff here. Let's see. I've got, uh, here's a few more we might be able to take a look at. Here we go. We'll squeeze these in. It's right at 29, 29 minutes. So we'll go, let's start off with this one. There you go, Vorinclex for 11. We'll take care of that in a minute. Finale of Eternity for one. Put that in the buy-in box. Finale of Promise, I think we got one of those. We'll add to it, and here we go, guys. Last one for the night. Teferi Time Raveler, that version is 23.23 market value right now. So we're looking at a $23 card. Guys, thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the Strixhaven version of uh, the Twiddler Rare Tower. Uh, and I hope you'll join me again 
uh, uh, for uh, the next episode. And keep your eyes peeled for a Tuesday night game. All right. Take care, guys. Thank you.